And next, we're going to talk about the Clemson Ohio State Instant Classic from this weekend. Both teams come into that game. Ohio State riding a 19 game winning streak. Clemson defending national champions riding a 28 game winning streak. Ohio State having just beat three consecutive top 15 teams and the game lived up to the hype. First, Ohio State comes out, goes up 16, a chance to go up 23-0, and then J.K. Dobbins, it was ruled incomplete, they reviewed it, and then all of a sudden, the game really came down to three plays in my opinion. One, it was the targeting call. Ohio State up 16, smelling blood, and they call it targeting on Wade, and he's done for the game. Ohio State showing some pressure, now they bail. Lawrence, hit it! Sean Wade off the corner, and Lawrence is still down. Took a hard hit. Sean Wade came from his star position over the slot on the left-hand side. Nobody picks him up, because that's what you said. On that fake count, Wade showed blitz, but they did not. They still didn't pick him up. And Lawrence, I mean, Wade's going full speed into Trevor Lawrence there on that sack. And then Chase Young. Now look, if you're Ohio State, you have the ball inside Clemson's red zone on three different occasions and you kick field goals each time. If any of those become touchdowns, we're not having this conversation most likely. If we had to hear how many times Chris Fowler was going to mention that he was 6'6", 220, it was pretty much a drinking game at that point. Anytime he mentions he's 6'6", 220, you take a shot and he took a shot from Sean Wade and look, what is he supposed to do? My question is, what is Sean Wade supposed to do? Is he supposed to say, oh, he's just going to not lower his head into me? Because that was the case right there. And look, I understand the crown of the helmet hit the crown of Trevor Lawrence's helmet. But to me, there's no question this rule needs to be changed. This rule is too cut and dry. Football is too nuanced and complicated to say, hey, anytime the crown hits the crown, automatic you're missing a half of football. It makes absolutely no sense, and it was ridiculous in that game. And Trevor Lawrence says that was the difference in the game. He says they think they had all the momentum, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to pop up. I'm going to run it off. And I was pissed, too, because I thought we were punting. And then it turns out they called targeting, and we got a chance to go back out there, and we finished and scored on that drive. But I was like, man, from then on, they thought they had knocked me out. I had a different kind of edge when I got up. So he's saying, hey, that was the play, the defining moment that sparked Clemson's comeback. Now, there's no question to me that the reason why Clemson wins this game is because, look, Ohio State, they clearly were the better team. Ohio State, from top to bottom, they have more talent. There's no debating that. But Trevor Lawrence, he was the best player on the field for both teams. He's the reason why they advance. And it's the reason why they're, I think, going to beat LSU in the national championship game. But that does not change the fact that Ohio State was screwed in this game. Ohio State was absolutely robbed, not once, not twice, but the third time just takes the cake. You tell me how the hell they decide to overturn this touchdown for the Buckeyes. On third and 19, Lawrence. Young was getting close, and the pass is complete and fumbled. And the Buckeyes pick it up and barely get to the end zone. There's Jordan Fuller. They call it a catch and a fumble and a scoop and score. After further review, the pass is ruled as incomplete. Now, just look at that play. Justin Ross catches the football, and he takes not one, not two, not three, four steps with the football while he's got it in a death grip. The ball comes out, and then Jordan Fuller, he takes it back. That's a touchdown for Ohio State. There is no world where that is not a touchdown, and then you add to the fact that it was ruled a touchdown. Let's say they ruled it incomplete on the field. I could see why they would overturn that, but they ruled it a touchdown. You mean to tell me that there's conclusive evidence that that was an incomplete pass? No, because it was a catch. That was a touchdown for the Buckeyes, and the Buckeyes got screwed. Ohio State had just experienced one of the worst calls in the history of college football, but don't listen to me. Why don't we bring in Dean Blandino? Here's his take on the worst call in college football this year. 
watch the replays. He gets control. He takes four steps, starts to bring it into his body. There's just not enough to change it from catch, fumble to incomplete. I thought it was a catch and a fumble, and it should have stood. Big so if you're Ohio State, this hurts. This is a once-in-a-generation type Ohio State team. They have an elite defense. Guys like Chase Young and Okuda are going to be top five picks. But one thing's clear. Look, Justin Fields, he's never seen a Brent Venables defense, a defense that sophisticated. All the disguises, all the stunts that he brings at you. And also, he's clearly not the same quarterback after that injury to Penn State. When he got injured against Penn State, I'm pretty sure he's about 80% because he's not stepping into those throws. He's just not as mobile as he was. But Ohio State, they still should have won that game. They were rolling. And one thing for sure. Yes, sometimes it's better to have the best player than it is to have the best team. But to me, Ohio State, they're the better team than Clemson. There's no question about it in my eyes. I think if they played 10 times, Ohio State would probably win eight times. Look, they got after Trevor Lawrence. They were doing nothing in the first half. Those calls really cost them. Sean Wade getting thrown out the way he did. I think that was just a ridiculous call in that situation. And if you're Ohio State, if you're college football fans, you're really being deprived of the matchup you should be seeing. It should be LSU versus Ohio State. And I can say with complete confidence that the two best teams are not playing in the national championship game. And if you just look at it, seven of the last nine national championship games will now be decided from two teams from the Southeast. That's bad for a sport that's really becoming increasingly irrelevant nationally. It really hurts the sport in my eyes. And if you look at it, no one moves the needle like the Ohio State Buckeyes. That game up 13%, almost 22 million people watch that football game. And you're gonna have a drop off in the national championship game. Now you're gonna get more of the same, SEC versus Clemson. That's the era we're in. And hey, you look, it should have been Ohio State. Ohio State should be in this football game. But hey, the Buckeyes, a tough loss. That's gonna sting for years to come. Ryan Day, they already have the number one recruiting class for the 2021 season. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna be back in the same situation before you know it, but this team was primed to win a national championship, and to me, they're gonna go down as one of the greatest teams that never was. Thanks for watching the Get More Sports YouTube channel. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me at DMAC underscore LA. And for all the hottest sports content in the game, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and most importantly, give me all your takes right down below in the comments section. I want all your takes right down below in the comments section. And for all the hottest and latest sports news, head over to GetMoreSports.com.